In this tutorial we will show you how to decode I2C signal with our powerful Mega One device. But first let's take a look at the basics. Inter-integrated circuits simplifies the hardware part of electronic devices. It consists of only two wires. One is used for clock synchronization, the other one is for data transfer purposes. On each I2C bus you will find one master and multiple slaves. I2C bus supports different speed modes, but the most common is 100 kilobits per second. Other supported speeds are fast mode, 400 kilobits per second, fast mode plus, 1 megabit per second, high speed mode, 3.4 megabits per second, and ultra fast mode, 5 megabits per second. I2C mostly uses 7 bit addresses, which are actually 8 bit, because the first bit describes whether the master is reading or writing to the slave address. Mega One has the ability of decoding 8 I2C buses simultaneously. Each bus can hold up to 128 devices, therefore the Mega One can connect up to 1024 devices. To see how I2C decoder works, you can use our POKIS controller, connect it to POS sensor's board and tap into the clock and data lines of I2C bus. They can be connected to any pin of the Mega One logic analyzer port. Set up the POS sensors board using the POKIS application. The POS sensors board consists of multiple I2C sensors. Set the refresh period of each sensor to 0.1 second to acquire more data. Traffic on I2C will be updating periodically. You can test the readings in our POBLOX application. It's a system design environment where you can easily program and test your prototypes. To decode an I2C bus, go to Postscope 4 application. Open Logic Analyzer display and set up your Mega One device deck mode to digital mode and set your sampling frequency to a proper setting. In order to capture all events on I2C data line, sampling frequency has to be higher than I2C bus clock. For I2C speed 100 kilobits per second, we suggest to set up sampling frequency to at least 500 kilo samples per second. Make sure software is in capture mode. Now press Analyze in top right corner to switch into Analyze mode. In Analyze mode, overview will become visible on Logic Analyzer display. It shows contents of data buffers. With mouse scroller, you can zoom in or zoom out at part you're interested in. You can also move selection by dragging chart with left mouse button pressed down. Pin with most tense and uniform pulses is clock pins can be renamed by double-clicking on them. If you rename pins to default I2C names, SDA, SCL, the decoder in next step will automatically use them as a source for decoding. To add I2C decoder, click the plus button. The I2C decoder dialog offers selection of data sources, pins for I2C data and I2C clock decoder inputs, which will be used during the decoding process. Additionally, users can choose how decoded slave address will be displayed. Decoded data can be shown in different formats and you can change that in decoders table under view column. Default setting is hex to display values as hexadecimal numbers, but there are also others such as dec, decimal value, char, byte value is converted into ASCII character, bin, binary value, hex and char, combination of hexadecimal value and ASCII char, and DEC and CHAR, combination of decimal value and ASCII CHAR. Signal fast measurements can be shown in the side panel or and as a hint when you hover the mouse cursor over any digital signal. In the display window you can see the start bit, master read initialization, the address master wants to read from, the acknowledge bit, the transfer data and the stop bit. You can export the selected range of data into an external file. Select the ports you want to export, write desired comments and click Export. When done, you will be able to see the data in a spreadsheet editor or other third-party application. 